Oh my god. <laughs> Genji is insane in the hands of pro players. J just watch this. But before you do, just think about the reduction of stuns in Overwatch and the removal of a tank. <laughs> and then and then think about a nano bladed Genji. Ugh. Anyway, watch this clip. It's it's just disgusting. Watch this. Watch this. Two kills. Three kills. Four kills. Five kills. Nero kills the entire enemy team. Look at his face. He's loving it. Insane. That is actually insane. Like, what is going on? Okay. What are we going to do? I'm going to just pause this. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful pause. Let's, let's go a little bit longer. Okay. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of clips here. And, and Genji is actually insane. And now there's... this. <laughs> oh, my mind is blown. Okay. Oh, my days. My mind is actually blown. So, in this one, in this clip, look at this. So, Sam... Whips out his, uh, this is Sam here, absolutely wonderful. Whips out his Dragon Blade. Now, there's a beat in play, but the beat is for Shock. It is not for Barris Eternal. This is a problem because this means without their beat, which they do not have, it is unsynced from the Genji Blade, they cannot stop Genji, right? Also, the only other way of stopping Genji is Anna sleeping him. And also, Glister has just died to Sam. He's just literally murdered him. So let's just see what happens in this play. <laughs> Oh my days. So there's, well, he kills Soldier, kills Anna. Yes, he just kills the majority of the enemy team. It's absolutely disgusting. So let's take a look at another clip here. So this again, you'll notice there's a theme. This is a Genji that's been beated going in with Blade. And again, you'll notice here, there's a beat which is being, actually, sorry, that, that's the San Francisco shock beat, which is being used in defense against this Genji Blade. This Genji Blade from Naga, who's over here. So Naga there pops his Genji Blade and the uh, sound barrier is in play. So you've got the sound barrier ready to go with the... Well, you've got the sound barrier in play with the... Uh, did he actually... Hang on, did he get the Genji... Did he get the sound barrier? He should have done. I think he should have. Unless it's just been cast as... Oh, maybe he didn't get the sound barrier. Okay, that's kind of unlucky. Let's just go back here. He should have got the sound barrier. Because what I was getting at is... Yeah, so sound barrier is in play. But it looks like Naga maybe didn't get the sound barrier there. Let's just go back and check that. Let's slow this down. I don't think he got the. I don't think he got the sound barrier. And if he did, I, I don't. I don't think he got it. He says, "Play go on video clip. Play." <laughs> so I've just. I've, I've reduced the speed of this just so we can see the next thing. But I think the sound barrier was missed there. Yeah. So there's sound barrier. Yeah, it doesn't get Naga. That's unlucky. See the UI, it doesn't get him. That's a, that's a big unlucky. Anyway, the point I was getting... Oh, that's not what I want to press. The point I was getting at <laughs> is it's this overlaying of beat, right? So you've got... You use your beat and go in with Blade and you basically win because you've got tons of extra defense and, you, well, you just won't die. You've got the massive overshield. Uh, but the enemy team use theirs as a defense. But what I wanted to highlight in this one is Violet uses his beat. So get ready for Violet to use his beat. Um, Naga is about to whip his Blade out. And they've gone in with their beat. So I think Paris have actually gone a little bit early. They've beat it. They've missed the Genji who kind of needed it. And the Genji's going to pull his blade out. But it's not like Genji needs it to get value. No, he can get a ton of value without it. So watch what happens, right? He goes in and he gets a bunch of kills anyway. The defensive beat is out by Shock. But I guess it helped a little bit, but not really too much. It's not really a very good counter to the Genji blade. Like Genji can just go straight through it. It's disgusting. <laughs> um, and yeah, we see Sam deflect a few hits away there from uh, from Naga. But again, a nice little play. It's like Genji blade is so powerful. Now we're going to see a nano Genji. So here we go. <laughs> Sam jumps up into the air, gets himself a nano blade. Now look again at the enemy team. Look at what they've got available. They have absolutely nothing. They're about to get primal, but they don't have sound barrier. Now a nano blade into sound barrier, you may as well not have a sound barrier because <laughs> you're going to get destroyed. And remember, because this is five, that's not a five. This is, that's also not really a five because it's 5v5 now. You get a kill and it is incredibly more powerful than if you got a kill in 6v6, right? And all you need to literally do is Genji, is get one kill. It's the same for Soldier. Just get one kill with your attack visor and you, you basically have, that's the value from your ultimate. It's cool. So anyway, we've got a nano blade going into. We don't really need a nano blade, but it's going in. It doesn't matter. He's just going to chop away, and that's just going to be the end of uh, Paris Eternal. Look at all the kills. Like they literally have no answer to that. They all they could have done was slept the the, the Anna. Now there is another point as well on these um, clips that I want to show you guys. A lot of them often are starting with an offensive Anna grenade because this, remember, isn't the nerfed um, Anna grenade that is currently on the beta, but it's still. Four seconds of um, anti-heal. It's three seconds, I think, on, on beta. That's still really good. And that still would be used for an engage. But yeah, engage with the Ana Grenade and just go straight in with a blade. And if you're feeling jazzy, go for a Nano Blade. The only response you've got to this is a sound barrier or you kill the Genji as he's blading or you sleep him. And they're kind of easy to play around. So this example here, like, look at this. He's just gone in again and he's just absolutely killing everyone. It's 
<laughs> it's really good to watch. I really like watching pro again just because they're just insane. Like mechanically, these players are insane. Like it just blows my mind. It's just ridiculous. All right, so we've got Dan, Primal Raging, but we've got her proper getting a bunch of kills. It looks like Naga going in again. This one's a little bit messy. Oh yeah, the reason why I included this is simply because that it is a bit messy. In fact, we'll just jump back a little bit on this one because this. <laughs> let, let's just let clue. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even include him killing him. Okay. Well, anyway, what? Just watch this clip again. I won't pause it as it's playing, but just look how crazy this is. This really will show you like how deathmatchy Overwatch 2 can be. Like, look at this. I mean, the observing is a little bit all over the place here, but I think it's difficult to observe this anyway. It's difficult for me to follow what's going on here. It's just like a massive cluster. Everyone's just going in. Full trade, wholesale destruction. It's like, what is going on? Mental. Anyway, Reaper has also been pretty strong every now and again, we've seen over the weekend. Um, but again, this is focused on Genji. So we see Proper going in. He's got B. He's got his blade. He's just going to destroy him. Like, two kills there. They're literally, it's all over. They can't push the point, really, off this. He goes down, but it doesn't matter. Like, the trade of the blade is just so powerful. Whip the blade out, get a kill. It is worth it almost every day of the week. It's so powerful. It's incredible. Okay, welcome to Nero. Because this is mental. Like, this is actually mental. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. So he pulls his blade out. Right, you'll probably miss this the first time. Because you, you can see what he's trying to do. If you're very fa now, okay, the Overwatch League stream, for some reason, is at 30 FPS. I don't know why. It's garbage. But anyway, let's go back, and I want to show you guys this. Watch this. I'm going to slow this down, and we're going to play this. Because this is just some insane individual play. Look at this. So he's gone in on the Ana, pulls out his blade. He hides for a bit of cover, manages to get the... I don't think he gets a kill on the Ana. Did he get an assist on the Ana? I don't know. But he pressured the Ana anyway. The Genji goes straight through him, right? So someone... Uh, no, sorry, it's Checkmate goes through him. He turns around. Oh, my God. Look at the quality of this video. Like, what the hell, Overwatch League? Turns around. Going for the Reaper. Gets a slash on the Reaper. Can you see it? I can see it. Look at this. It's so cool. Um, now, I think what happens is Kai kills Checkmate. But Nero is thinking, you know what? I'm just going to kill the parodies. And I know I can dash reset and get back over here. That's what he's going for. And... It, it, it nearly works out, but he kind of kind of gets stole from him. Look, see, he's already dead, but he went for it. And you have got to respect that. That is sick. That is really sick. I mean, the fight's already won at that point, but that is sick. I love that stuff. It's so cool. Like, but you only see this on Genji. And that's what I really like about Genji. He's so cool to watch. All right, so we're going to see... Oh, my God. Nero again. But this time, he's got his... Whipped his blade out. He's on the point. But the... the <laughs> look at this. Just look at the ultimates again. Just look at the ultimates. Look what's happened. That's been used. That's been used. Both beats are gone. No one's got beats anymore. So who's going to get the value? Well, um, Nero's blade came out. Ah, he didn't really get any kills. But what's happened is Checkmate has timed his blade a little bit better. So his blade now comes into play when there is nothing to stop this. There is no sound barrier. Okay, there's a... Um, oh no, there's no Anna. Anna's also dead. So this is actually ideal. Checkmate has killed Anna. He can just literally do what he likes. Nothing on the enemy team can stop him unless they shoot him and kill him, which is, as we all know, is incredibly difficult. And if the pro players can't do it, we ain't got no chance of doing it. So watch this. He just does what he likes, goes in, kills Hawk, because why not? Goes over there. <laughs> it's just disgusting. The mobility is insane. There's no answer to this play. It is just literally a fight win button. It's so good. Okay, let's, let's look at Nero, because Nero, I think Nero is probably the best Genji over the weekend. He, he was cracked. The whole team there played well. I mean, they're in that little room there. Genji's just going to dash for you all day there. It's just going to be absolute bad times for you if you're in that room. It's just ridiculous. But look, watch this. Let's watch the setup here. So this is kind of cool because this is a double double DPS ultimate um, push. Now, what we're going to see is Hydron gets killed straight away. But what we've got is Kai, and you can see the icon is gone. Now, I know the quality is absolutely terrible and gash because it's... Uh, Overwatch League, and for some reason, they don't want to stream good quality. I could literally stream better quality from here. Like, huh. anyway, moving on. Um, the, Nero whips his blade out, but Kai's already pushing them back with his tack visor, and it's the double DPS alts into this, which has nothing to stop them. They've almost got a male online, but that's not going to be enough to stop this. It won't stop tack visor. You're just going to get wrecked. A lamp, who knows where lamp is? May's obviously in her ice block at the moment. They don't have beat, so they don't really have any options. And this is the thing with these ultimates, right? The Genji Blade and the Tack Visor are so powerful together. Like, you can just get tons of value. But obviously, you don't want to stack the ultimates. That's a bit over the top. You can generally just win by using what either or, uh, essentially. But 
I don't know what the answer is to Genji Blade. <laughs> I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Watch this. Watch it. Watch it. Getting pushed back by Kai, and then Nero just goes through them and absolutely eviscerates them. Look at that. That is insane. It's just, he's, he's just killed them all. He's just killed them all. Well, he's killed three of them. He may as well have killed them all because there's only going to be two left, and then the rest of them are dead. It is disgusting. My God. Checkmate, though, he's also been pretty good. So... <laughs> That, we're going to go back and watch that again. That's actually pretty nice, that is. And this this shows you, like, how powerful Genji is in 1v1s as well. Like, you would think here, that soldier... Uh, well, that's Anna getting killed. So, not soldier. But Anna, a soldier's about to get killed here. So, look, look. Now, Kai's obviously low HP. But the grenades hit checkmate, so he's purple. Kai, he probably doesn't have um, rockets on cooldown. Because he probably would have killed him if he did. Because he didn't hit him with rockets from there. Um... Actually, no deflect would have killed him, so he would have died to that. But, like, the, what, what is... Look at that. The damage is just so good. It's just so good, Genji is. But I think this is, I think this is good for the game. Because this is what Overwatch is about, right? It's not, it's not Call of Duty, right? So I don't mind it when we see, like, you know, Soldier 76 and whatever in the meta. But Genji only exists in this game. And it's, like, it's so, it's so good to see it. Anyway, let's, let's take a look at this. Oh, my God. It's just disgusting. <laughs> I mean, Nero's getting a bunch of kills here, but Ultraviolet is doing a lot of work there. And like I said, the Annas are setting up with... I mean, oh my god, they're all together. They're just all together. Oh my god, the damage, the damage, the damage off them slashes would have been disgusting. And even look look at what, the, look, look at what they've got. Look at what Mayhem are trying. They've got Brig. They've obviously got Brig to try and deal with Genji, right? Because Brig is going to give survivability to the Anna. And I've kind of like guessed at this throughout the, the, the Alpha and the Beta, like... I think Brig is pretty strong, and I think Brig um, might be used a bit more in the future, especially paired up with like a um, somebody who can output healing, right, or output burst healing. I think that's the way to look at these supports in Overwatch 2 now. Um, but Anna can obviously do that. Um, so Anna obviously has crowd control as well, which makes her really strong, which is why she's played in every single game, because you need Anna's sleep dart, because without that, you can't stop a lot of stuff. And also her grenade is so powerful. That's basically the main reason she's been played, is for the grenade. But look at this. Animo is trying to keep his Anna alive with uh with brig but they're, they're just both dead anyway because <laughs> that's the way things go but i think that was more of a team positional problem okay let's take a look at a nano blade and a nano blade that's not really needed at least i don't think you really need an but, but actually look at this so oh my god rally is being used so you can see the little bits of i hope you guys can see that again the video quality is so piss poor they need to sort this out overwatch league do but um the green overhealth there from Briggs uh, Rally is in play, right? And starting to apply to people. So you would think um, that would give you some resistance to this, the uh, nanobladed Genji, which is going into your team. Question is, will it? And the answer is no, because, well, you're just going to get destroyed. <laughs> so look at the damage. Briggs instantly dead. Both the supports are dead. He literally doesn't care. Goes back and kills the Genji. I mean, I, like, 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 like what? It's just disgusting. It's just disgusting. So let's take a look at it from the other side as well. Let's look at a nano blade from uh, Florida Mayhem. So this one, I won't spoil it. I'll let you go. I'll just let you guys watch it. This is um, this is an overinvestment. So Hydron kills everyone, and we've got a nano blade Genji just sort of like, oh, I'll fight the Doomfist then. So those are things we will see. Let me pause that a sec. Those are things we will see between different. Um, I think different calibers of teams, like they'll know when to use their ultimates better. Because remember, ults do not become available as often as they used to in Overwatch 2 compared to Overwatch 1. And good teams have always been great at ult management, ult tracking, and all of that stuff. Um, but like the nano is fairly long charge. Now, that's not super long, but it's fairly long. Blade as well is much longer, but a nano blade is pretty much a fight win. Um, however, the uh, Hydron on the Widow popped off in that game. He just killed, like, literally two people, so he didn't need to use it. But it almost happened as the Nano got used, so you could maybe excuse it for that. Um, but whatever. Like, it, Ultimates do have impact now, but it's just so cool seeing Genji just get results. It's mental. Right, then, look at this. So Nero, two kills already. Blading through. That was a dash cancel thing there. That's just... It, it, it's just, it, it, like, honestly, this Genji is cracked. It's so cracked. But what I will say is when I've been looking at this, even looking at, um, let, let, let me sort my cameras out. <laughs> I, I was going to, I was going to, I use, I normally use it. You guys can't see it. I don't think I can lift it up enough. No, I've got a Stream Deck Mini and I use that for uh, OBS, but I've got all my VTube stuff on. <laughs> on that. Anyway. 
Genji is disgusting. And, and I think the conclusion from this is Overwatch League, I think, was quite enjoyable to watch this weekend. I really enjoyed it. I think it was like... Um, you did get more, there's more onus on individual play, right? So it's more interesting to watch the DPS players pop off. But also, it was very interesting watching supports making plays. It was great watching Lucio's booping people back, dropping sound bout, sound bout, sound down barrier <laughs> at the right time. Uh, you've got like Anna, Anna nades, obviously. I think Anna nades are a bit too easy to use, but getting sleep darts off, going for clutch nanos. I think it was really cool. I, what was weird to me is the tanks didn't seem as, um, it didn't like, it didn't look like the tanks, were, I mean, obviously the tanks were making crazy good plays but it wasn't as like flashy as the dps and the dps was like holy hell look at these plays they're mind-blowing i can't believe it so I, I i think this is better for overwatch league but when i showed you guys that dorado clip it was a bit messy wasn't it that i think the observers need to level up and they probably will when they get used to it because i found it hard to see what was going on rapidly jumping around uh, first person views is difficult to tell what's going on but i mean it is something else ain't it this it's like pfft, Nero's mental on Genji as well. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I'll make more of these videos going forward into the future because I'm always struggling to find um, things we can do with Overwatch League. But I think like going for this like highlighted um, sort of version of the good plays is the way forward. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Oh my God, for some reason I'm, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> but I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, remember you can follow me on everything, which is at Silosa. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.